I'm Colin Stolle and I approve this message. Hi, I'm Scott Ritchell and I have the privilege of serving uh, this wonderful 2nd Congressional District in Congress and it's a great honor and a pleasure for me to provide my full and hearty endorsement uh, to Colin Stolle as Virginia Beach's next uh, Commonwealth attorney. He's eminently qualified both in education and in experience and I think really most importantly he's got the right character and the discernment and the wisdom and the courage that it takes to be a great Commonwealth attorney in Virginia Beach. So, uh, I'd ask for your support to join my wife Terry and me in standing with Colin and ensure his election uh, this fall. Thank you. And so with all of this and all the momentum and all of us behind him and with him, there's only one outcome on election day, and that is the next Commonwealth attorney for the city of Virginia Beach is Colin Scott. Let's win the election first. <laughs> thank, thank you all so much for coming here today. Scott, thank you so much for your kind words. We are so blessed to have Scott Rigel as our representative in Congress. I only wish there were more of you up there. That's what we mean is more Scott Rigels, because if that were the case, a lot of our country's problems would be solved by him. So thank you. And I know that every uh, candidate will sit here and tell you that their race in November is extremely important. And Glenn will, Gary will, will tell you how important your race is. But there's a difference. And let me explain the difference. My race really is. <laughs> But the race for Commonwealth Attorney is a very different race. Because it's not a policy position. It's, it's not a campaign where you're going to hear discussions about transportation. You're not going to hear discussions about taxes or Medicaid or, or any of the other issues that come up in, in Glenn's and Gary's races. Because there's one basic principle to being Commonwealth's attorney, which there's a sacred trust the community is in placing, and they have one role as Commonwealth's attorney. Keep us safe. That's what it boils down to, is it's the public electing someone to keep us safe, to fight for the innocent, to ensure that the guilty are convicted, to keep us safe. It's unique. It's unique in, in the election cycle, but it's not only unique in that, it's unique in the legal system. You know, we, we have some of the best attorneys actually in the area here with us today. And, you know, when someone needs to go to court or need to hire an attorney to, to help them out, you know, they may go to John Richardson or they may go to John Zegrin because of prior dealings with them or their experience with them. Or, or seeing them on TV or something to that effect. It's, it's a trust. They go to these individuals because they have a trust that they will represent their interests. It's not the case for a victim of crime. A, a, a victim of crime does not get to choose who their prosecutor is. They don't get to sit down and look at bios or, or look on some website to compare this attorney or that attorney. They don't get to do any of that. Who, who gets to decide that? Who gets to select who represents that rape victim that comes in? Who gets to select who represents that, that murder victim's family? 
who, who needs help. But you do. And all the citizens of Virginia Beach, you make that determination for the victims. That's why this election is so important. It's not just a matter of Republican versus Democrat, and I am very, very proud to have the Republican nomination for Commonwealth's attorney. But it goes beyond that. It goes beyond this policy and that policy. It comes down to who do you trust? Who do you trust to look out for your neighbors, your family? It, it requires someone who has dedicated their career to prosecution. It comes down to someone who's been there and helped the victims of crime day after day. It is a sacred role that, that is entrusted to an attorney to look out for their fellow man. And I, I wish I had the words to sit here and explain to you the feeling that there is when you sit down with a rape victim and sit there and look into their eyes and explain the process and begin to see one-on-one -on -one their expression change from fear to trust because they're learning how to once again trust someone they meet. Or to sit down with a murder victim's family and watch the sense of relief and release as they begin to realize that they have a champion, that they have someone there who is going to fight as hard as they can to ensure that their loved one receives justice. That's what this election is about. It's not about Republican or Democrat. It's not about policy. It's about who are we as citizens of Virginia Beach going to trust to fill that role. Ladies and gentlemen, I am confident to stand here today and tell you that I am the man for that job. That I will fight every single day, day in and day out, to seek justice for victims of crime, for the citizens of Virginia Beach. It is a different role. It's not a job, it's a calling. And I've dedicated my career to prosecution, and there's nothing else I want to do. It's different. And if you don't think it is, you don't have to look any farther than the events in Texas over the last month, where a district assistant district attorney was gunned down, and then the elected district attorney and his wife were killed in their own home. It requires an individual who's willing to make a stand no matter what the consequences are, to do the right thing and to keep on fighting. And that's what I will do every single day as your Commonwealth's attorney. You have my promise. Now, I don't want to go long. I know everyone has to go back to work, but I think I've, I've got enough time that, that I can share something with you. And you know, hanging in my office near the door, I have four comic books, frame comic books. I know that sounds really geeky. I swear it's cool. <laughs> I, I have four comic books. And the comic, comic books are actually from a series uh, from the 1930s into the, the 40s. Uh, it, it's called Mr. District Attorney, is, is what it is. And, you know, I, I had not seen this before. Until several years ago when I ran across them. And, uh, you know, there, of course, it's a comic book that was destined to, to fail. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, if you're trying to attract some kids' money in there over comic books, they go, okay, I can have Superman who can, you know, Ben Steele and Fly, or I can have this attorney who's going to court and cross examining people. <laughs> it, it just wasn't going to last. But, in any event, the, the interesting thing about these comic books is that the hero, and, and he's referred to as Mr. District Attorney or Chief throughout all of these things, the, the main character is portrayed as no less of a hero than Superman or 
Batman or Spider-Man in their comic books. The, the message that, that I took from that was simply this. Um, Superman isn't real. Batman isn't real. You know what? Commonwealth attorneys and prosecutors aren't real. And, and they are heroes. And there's a lot of prosecutors in here from my office today, and I'm very proud that they're here, and I'm very proud of the work that they do. And they are heroes that go to court day in and day out, fighting for the innocent victims, fighting to ensure that the guilty are punished, fighting to make our community a safer place. And you know, I, I have a little routine before I go into trial. Every trial, I do the same routine. I, I stand in my office, and I say a little prayer. It's a very simple prayer. I set it on the steps up here, and it goes like this. Dear God, please don't let me screw this up. <laughs> <laughs> After that, I then look over at the Mr. District Attorney comic books. And the reason why I do that is it reminds me that there's a victim waiting for me, or there's a victim's family waiting for me. And even though I'm some average Joe, they need, need me to be their hero. They need me to come into court and help them achieve justice because they can't do it on their own. And I promise you that all of our attorneys in the Commonwealth Attorney's Office and all of the support staff, they're heroes. And they will continue to be heroes. And I hope come November with your help, I can continue to be a hero to the citizens of Virginia Beach. So thank you all very much for coming here today. I cannot tell you how much your support means to me, and uh, we'll get them in November. Thank you.